Next bit of news out of France. French city closes public swimming pools after Muslim women defy burkini ban in protest. A French city closed two public swimming pools after seven Muslim women, inspired by Rosa Parks, defied a citywide ban to swim in their burkinis on Sunday, despite the heat wave that triggered special measures to protect the public health. The protest was part of a campaign dubbed Operation Burkini, launched in May by Green Bulls Citizen Alliance, which saw burkini-clad protesters break the ban for the second time in five weeks. The women remained in the water for nearly an hour despite being reprimanded by lifeguards beforehand and received cheers and embraces from other swimmers. They were apprehended by police, received a fine, and were banned from using public schools for uh, pools for one month, the city hall spokesperson said. So, uh, yeah, and it, they had a ban on burkinis people were not allowed to wear burkinis and um these women amidst this huge heat wave going on right there like i think it's for americans 113 degrees fahrenheit um there right now so it, it's just uh, stop using yeah. fahrenheit what's you, that fahrenheit okay most of our audience are from the civilized world they use the metric system okay so yes. forget we're not gonna we're not gonna okay go on <laughs> well, the the article has the Celsius, so good, as it should be. Go on. Um, so uh, yeah, well, and and the thing is, is they have bans on a lot of different items. This is not just a target on women. Uh, men aren't allowed to wear board shorts um, as well to the to the pool. Um, so they just they so have... the woman, so basically, let me just see what if I got this right. The the city said no burkinis. So Muslim woman, you can't you have to, you can't wear burkinis if you come here. Burkini, by the way, for people that don't know, is like a as a, a hijab version for people Muslims that want to swim, but they also want to cover their hair and their body as well. A lot of Muslims, by the way, don't like this because they think you still can see the body, right? Um, but but this French city decided that it's, they don't want to allow this. By the way, in France, these things are, you know, very fought. Islamic and other religious symbols are, you know, there's a heavy push against all of it. So I guess this is just another example of that. The city says uh, none of that stuff in, in our is a public swimming pool. So they banned it. And the woman came, showed up more with burkinis as a as protest, right? And the city just shut it down, just, just shut down the pool. Is that what they did? Well, they, they um, that's what they're reporting on, that they've closed them. Um, because there have been these wave of protests going on. Um, so that kind of sucks <laughs> that they had to close it. I mean, I think of the poor kids and everyone else who yeah. wants to be there. Okay, okay. So th this, isn't, this seems weird for me. First of all, I don't understand the burkini band. band. Like, I don't, I mean, I don't like hijab. I don't like modesty culture to, at all, which the hijab promotes. Um... But, I mean, I'm going to criticize it uh, until I die. But I don't understand the ban. I don't see the point of the ban. I'm open to be convinced otherwise. I mean, criticize hijab, criticize Islam. But what the hell is the point of a ban? Like, people could make bad choices and have their hijab on. Why should the law stop? Why should, why should there be a law against that? I mean, people yeah. go on. They've banned the burkini in certain swimming areas in France since 2016 um, after a series of terrorist attacks shocked the nation. Uh, so that I, was. Uh, wait, it was. They banned the burkini as a response to a terrorist attack? This, like, I'm not agreeing with it. I'm just reporting it. I know, I'm not. I know you're not. But are you serious? Yes. The burkini ban was a response to a terrorist attack? Yes. You showed those terrorists. I don't understand. Like, how's that going to help with the terror? And then the, the local MP, Eric Chiotti, wrote, the burkini has no place in France where the women, uh, where the woman is equal to that of a man. And to allow these Islamist activities in Green Noble and throughout France is to give up the Republic. I will never accept it. The, the burkini is going to bring down the Republic. Really? France is going to be taken down by the burkini. That, okay. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Okay. 
This sounds like when the alt right people say like, "Oh, these women in their shorts are gonna are destroying the fabric of the society, and they're gonna bring down our, um, you know, conservative culture, and every you know everything is gonna fall apart." Like, what the hell? Okay, I don't like I don't like modesty culture, and I'm I hate the burkini, and I criticize it. But what the like this is what does this accomplish? Can somebody does anybody disagree with me and can convince me otherwise? Because I'm I'm ready to be convinced otherwise. I remember last year or even yeah, it had to have been at least a year ago when you and I reported on these bans going on throughout France and it was it was huge all over social media. People were uh, debating whether this should ever take effect and um, something we've been saying since the start is this isolates. Muslim women, mm. um, it sets them apart because if they're not allowed to wear their burkini to the pool due to these bans um, or their or their hijab or whatever else France keeps banning um, over there, but if they can't if they can't wear their stuff, then they are going to be stuck at home, and that's less amount of of good, you know, people in their community that they're being isolated from, uh, events they're being isolated from, any chance of becoming friends with somebody. They're isolated from. They're stuck in their home. They can't wear what they feel they need to wear, what whatever the case may be. Um, so the ban is is bad. It's bad for everybody. I think. So see, if they say, "Oh, this is we don't accept this in France." Well, France is the country, uh, the you know, one of the birthplaces of Enlightenment values. France is the country of Voltaire, from people from the great thinkers of the world that try to reduce the. Uh, government telling people how to behave okay so you telling people not to wear the burkini is very anti-french to me if you uh, you know and also this whole thing people what ali is saying is is has been proven through history i i come from a, a country where hijab uh, used to be illegal iran in iran during reza shah uh, wearing the hijab in public used to be illegal, okay? And what happened was Muslim women, religious Muslim women, during this ban, they just stayed home the entire time. The entire time. For two years, these people, these women didn't come out. Um, another thing is that the terrorists or the radicals or the fundamentalists, they hate the burkini, Okay. They think this is too, you know, too sexy for them. They think this is like too revealing, right? So you're looking at a group of Muslims that are, a you know, a little bit away from, not a little bit, a lot different from all those fundamentalists, and you're pushing them away. I mean, a lot of these people, the more you push them away, the more you're going to be like, you know what, maybe these fundamentalists are right. Maybe maybe I am not fr French and maybe I need to fight back. So good job. I mean, good job in giving them more ammunition. Uh, Yuval is saying burqa has to do with terror because it helps disguise a person's identity. This is burkini. The burkini doesn't disguise their identity. Right. I mean, they still they don't have their face covered. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. I'm 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 I am for a face covering ban if you could if there are study if there is actually a legit security concern, right? If somebody is trying to make security concern as a, an excuse for uh, doing something, you know, anti Muslim symbols, then that's bullshit. But if somebody is genuinely showing and showing that this is a security concern and therefore we have to remove the uh, burqa or the niqab because it has a face covering they say like only head covering is okay but not face covering i agree with that then ban the niqab ban the burqa okay but the burkini doesn't have a face covering so there is no point in banning that um you were also saying, having said the above, is in, in southern Israel, many Bedouin women wear burqa for, for traditional reasons and no one making a fuss about it. Yeah, so, I again, I think a lot of people, a lot of these security concerns are fake security concerns, but some of them are legit security concerns. There's legit security concerns. If that leads to a ban, I understand that, right? But if it's, it, it's very, it's very... 
um, but it has to be you have to prove that this is a security concern right if you're just focusing on the naqab and the burqa and not like on motorcycle helmets and you know if people are going around in Halloween costumes with masks and nobody's take you know nobody cares about that and it's just the naqab and the burqa then they're like yeah I think this is about this is not about security concerns is it GV saying what is the best approach to get Muslim women to give up the hijab and the uh, burkini well, I mean, the hijab and the burkini and all of the stuff is a symptom, is, a, is, is not the problem itself. It's a symptom of another problem, which is Islam. You don't try to just, it's kind of like you're looking at a scar and you're like, how could I make the scar not show? And it's infected, it's rotten from the core. And you're just trying to like put lips, you know, put uh, some makeup on it and hide the, hide the scar. Like you don't just go after the symptoms of the problem. You have to go after the Islam and the ideology itself. Uh, and this, you, how do you fight that? You support Atheist Republic. That's how you fight that. Uh, do you see how they did that? Um, okay, let me see what the top comment is. Grant is saying, I want my freedom by covering my body in the name of religion that restricts my freedom. Yeah, we know. Hijab is bullshit. Hijab is stupid. We understand that. It doesn't, but it doesn't help for being mean to people that, um, that, you know, okay, you have to understand the people that are wearing the hijab, they are the victims of an ideology, okay? Don't be mean to these people because you disagree with the hijab, okay? I disagree with the hijab. I hate the hijab, all right? But that's not an excuse to be shitty to people. I mean, I'm not saying Grant, by the way, is saying that, but, um, but, you know, please be nice to people, okay? look at religious people as 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 victims don't look at them at, you know don't think like just because you disagree with the hijab uh, or you don't like it that's a that's a license for you to go be rude to people oh they're saying look at me i have the right to be oppressed yeah yeah we get it we yeah hijab hijab is a symbol of oppression i i agree with that okay i agree with that but that's not the point of the story the point of the story is that yeah some people are being brainwashed and they're they are they are becoming the um you know they are helping with their own oppression they're there and they're celebrating a symbol of oppression right they are doing that right but that doesn't mean we have to endorse the government coming and telling people what to wear and what not to wear okay just because two wrong doesn't make it right just because we're against the hijab we can't we're not going to endorse uh government overreach okay um amy's well amy's comment is way too long it seems like it's a very good comment so i'm just going to pause it put it here for somebody if they want to pause it and read it uh but we don't have time to read it um Seb sebastian is saying would you mind not doing your laundry in my pool thank you uh, what the hell peter is saying good the law is the law oh the law is the law P this is logic it's another appeal to the law as if every law is just are you guys seriously does everybody think just because something is the law then it justifies people have to follow every law like what happened to anyways so do you think every person that has uh has you know protested the law or had civil disobedience or do you think like if you know not sitting at the back of the bus because you're black you think they were all wrong because the law is the law like are you that's not that's a, such a stupid defense we have shitty laws people we have shitty laws there are sometimes that it's a you, there are uh, there are situations where it's a good idea not to obey the law. Is that controversial to say? Mike is yeah. saying, for the sake of discussion, what's the difference between don't wear shorts to opera and don't wear burkini to a swimming pool? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, well, because we don't have dress codes for swimming pools, do we? Oh, well, uh, in France they do. Um but in and where where I live, there's no law that you can't wear shorts to an opera. You most certainly can. Is it faux pas? Okay. Absolutely, it's faux pas. Oh, um, actually, this is not very similar. I f okay, sorry, Ali. Um, I, I have no, I have no a response. But go on, go on. Thank go on. you uh, for your support. Oh, thank you, Nilofar. That's very nice. But go on, go sorry, Ali. I I interrupted you. Um. Yeah. So, is, is it socially faux pas? Sure, but you're not going to be. They're not going to close down the opera. Because some men decide they're gonna bust in there with some with some shorts on. Um, 
I, I think a more accurate analogy would be if somebody showed to the opera with formal attire, but hijabi formal attire, right? So I think your comparison is would be if the opera, so because the burkini is technically a swimsuit, right? So if you want to compare it to people not allowing a certain dress code in opera, it wouldn't be if somebody shows up in, in shorts, it would be somebody coming out in formal attire, very, you know, just like everybody else. Just like in the pool, these women are showing up with a swimsuit, but it's a hijabi swimsuit. But imagine if you were wearing very nice formal hijabi clothes, and then the opera side banning that. That would be a closer analogy. Be saying it's damn hot there right now, and it's inhumane to tell people to get out of the water. Uh, Subham is saying anal sex was illegal in India until last year. Imagine the number of criminals. The law is not always a good idea. Um, okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.